Mount Ruipay in the centre with the advantage and goes on now by a couple of lengths to Maggie McGrath in second. Red Sky Knight towards the stand side in third and these two three have gone on from Charles Bianconi in four. Well inside the final furlong, it's Mount Ruipeo out in front for Andy Slattery by a couple of lengths and is going to hold that advantage to the line. Mount Ruipeo wins the opener from in second place was Maggie McGrath. Mount Ruipeo in the centre with the advantage and goes on now by a couple of lengths to Maggie McGrath in second. Red Sky Knight towards the stand side in third and these two three have gone on from Charles Bianconi in four. Well inside the final furlong, it's Mount Ruipeo out in front for Andy Slattery by a couple of lengths and is going to hold that advantage to the line. Mount Ruipeo wins the opener from in second place was Maggie McGrath. Charles Bianconi came back to for third ahead of Red Sky at night and fifth behind those raced Ty Legacy. And it's Dragon's Call with Florence Thompson now joining in over the far side. These two go on by a length and a half to Tacola Brazil in third. They're followed by Darren Lor Splendor. And my moment in time, who tries to say on, but racing inside the final furlong towards the far side, it's Florence Thompson within the centre. Dragons call towards the near side to Cola Brazil. Dragons call to Cola Brazil in the stand side. Dragons call to Cola Brazil. Put it up to the judge, close between them. Florence Thompson just weakened late on to finish third. And, they and it's Dragons call with Florence Thompson now joining in over the far side. These two go on by a length and a half to Cola Brazil in third. They're followed by Darren Lars Splendor. And my moment in time, who tries to say on, but racing inside the final furlong towards the far side, it's Florence Thompson within the centre. Dragons call towards the near side to Cola Brazil. Dragons call to Cola Brazil in the stand side. Dragons call to Cola Brazil. Put it up to the judge, close between them. Florence Thompson just weakened late on to finish third, and they finished clear of the remainder, headed possibly by El Maga, who came home well ahead of Born Invincible. Canodian comes over on the far side now to challenge Coomshingon. Princess Ella tracks the leader through. They're followed by Pretty Smart. Craft Irish and Affable towards the stand side, racing down inside the final furlong. And it's Canodian with the advantage for being tackled on the far side by Princess Sella. Canodian, Princess Sella on the far side for Shane Foley. Well, on the near side is Craft Irish. And it's Craft Irish who's rallied well and come home well. Come home best to score. Canodian comes over on the far side now to challenge Coomshingon. Princess Ella tracks the leader through. They're followed by Pretty Smart. Craft Irish and Affable towards the stand side, racing down inside the final furlong. And it's Canodian with the advantage for being tackled on the far side by Princess Sella. Canodian, Princess Sell on the far side for Shane Foley. Well, on the near side is Craft Irish, and it's Craft Irish who's rallied well and come home well, come home best to score. By about half a length in the end, Craft Irish, the winner from Princess Sell in second, and they finished in front of Canodian and Affable third and fourth. As the race down inside the final furlong, accomplished in Billy on the far side, Tango Flair and Luke McAteer not going away on the stand side, but inside the final furlong, accomplished just begins to assert and raising up towards the line. Accomplished going to justify favourite in here for Ken Condon and Billy Lee, but uh, Ken Condon and Billy Lee by about a length and a half. As the race down inside the final furlong, accomplished in Billy on the far side, Tango Flair and Luke McAteer not going away on the stand side, but inside the final furlong, accomplished just begins to assert and raising up towards the line. Accomplished going to justify favourite in here. For Ken Condon and Billy Lee, but uh, Ken Condon and Billy Lee by about a length and a half to. In second place was Tango Flair. The full back line kept on to be third ahead of Polonasa four and made to shine in five. And Stephen has kicked on from the front for Dillibar McMonagall. Monasib now gives chase in second. As the race down inside the final furling, it's Statement out in front by a length. Monasib trying hard in second with Statement. Monasib coming hard on the outside with Statement by half a length. Up to the line, Statement holds on, wins by a neck from Monasib. Great right in the front by Dylan Brown McMonagall. And Statement has kicked on from the front for Dylan Brown McMonagall. Monasib now gives chase in second. As the race down inside the final furling, it's Statement out in front by a length. Monasib trying hard in second with Statement. Monasib coming hard on the outside with Statement by half a length. Up to the line, Statement holds on, wins by a neck from Monasib. Great right in the front by Dylan Brown McMonagall. And they finished in front of Georgeville, who kept on to be third in company with Emporio and Fastener Crown. Close call for the placings behind the. And it's Ha 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 and Shane Foley go on, but being challenged quickly now by Gillida in the centre. On the outside by Bandwidth, Massaman and Imposing Supreme stay on behind those. Imposing Supreme looking for room. Well inside the final furling, and it's Gillida in the centre. The stand side, Bandwidth coming home strongest. Gillida and Bandwidth up to the line. Gillida and Bandwidth put it up to the judge. Ha Ha Ha. And it's Ha 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 and Shane Foley go on, but being challenged quickly now by Gillida in the centre. On the outside by Bandwidth, Massaman and Imposing Supreme stay on behind those. Imposing Supreme looking for room. Well inside the final furling, and it's Gillida in the centre. The stand side, Bandwidth coming home strongest. Gillida and Bandwidth up to the line. Gillida and Bandwidth put it up to the judge. Ha Ha Ha. On the inside, possibly just third ahead of Massaman 
and imposing supreme but both came home well on the outside imposing supreme possibly a shade unlucky Indiana Gray on the far side with the overall advantage over Skontanovsky. Scarf tries to come between them. They're followed by Dreams Delivered. Gemini Man, Han Solo is staying on at the pack ahead of Cheeky Peak. But inside the final furlong, it's on the far side. Indiana Gray being challenged now by Skontanovsky and Ronan Wheel. And Indiana Gray, Skontanovsky, not a lot to choose between them. But Indiana Gray pulls out a bit more close home and goes on to win by half a length from Skontanovsky in second. Indiana Gray on the far side with the overall advantage over Skontanovsky. Scarf tries to come between them. They're followed by Dreams Delivered. Gemini Man, Han Solo is staying on at the pack ahead of Cheeky Peak, but inside the final furlong, it's on the far side, Indiana Gray being challenged now by Skontanovsky and Ronan Wheel and Indiana Gray, Skontanovsky, not a lot to choose between them, but Indiana Gray pulls out a bit more close home and goes on to win by half a length from Skontanovsky in second. Han Solo came home well to be third ahead of Gemini Man and from a long way back, finishing fifth was Dragon Roll. And statement is kicked on from the front for Dylan Brown McMonagle. Monasib now gives chase in second. As the race down inside the final furling, it's Statement's out in front by a length. Monasib trying hard in second with Statement. Monasib coming hard on the outside with Statement by half a length. Up to the line, Statement holds on, wins by a neck from Monasib. Great right in the front by Dylan Brown McMonagall. And Statement is kicked on from the front for Dylan Brown McMonagall. Monasib now gives chase in second. As the race down inside the final furling, it's Statement's out in front by a length. Monasib trying hard in second with Statement. Monasib coming hard on the outside with Statement by half a length. Up to the line, Statement holds on, wins by a neck from Monasib. Great right in the front by Dylan Brown McMonagall. And they finished in front of Georgeville, who kept on to be third in company with Emporio and Fastener Crown. Close call for the placings behind the first two.